you, Sammy. I'm happy to be here to help entertain you until Miss Bethany shows up. <clears throat> Why shouldn't you tell a secret on the farm? Because the potatoes have eyes and the corn has ears. If fruit comes from a fruit tree, where does a chicken come from? A pole tree! <laughs> uh, more jokes about plants. What is an elephant's favorite vegetable? Squash! <laughs> what? But it is good to see you, and I hope that you had a wonderful week. We are going to get started with worship, and I'm so excited because we have a new family who is going to help us lead worship this week. This is the McClure family from Daniel Island. Their mom, Susan, is going to play the guitar for us, and Hope and Bates are gonna lead us in some singing. So I just love that they were willing to hop in and try this. And if your family um, likes to sing or can play an instrument or something like that, I would love to know so that we can get more and more of us helping lead worship as we go along. So without further ado, let's worship with the McClure family. Good morning, Holy Cross family. We're the McClures and we're gonna sing This Is The Day. Ready? This is this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in Him, and be glad in Him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. going to sing praise him praise him praise him praise him all you little children loved having a new family here so thank you so much that was wonderful 
And remember, if your family would like to help lead worship, just pop me an email and we can try and figure that out. So, all right, well, let's do our liturgy together. You guys know the drill. You just follow along at the bottom of the page. So let's get started. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, and let's say our thank yous to God. I've been hearing the Lord tell me to remember all the blessings that I have in my life, um, just in all these crazy stressful times that that's a way I can reconnect to him. And it has been helping me feel less stressed. So let's do it together. <laughs> for our lives which you have created. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, we thank you for sending Jesus into the world. Lord, we thank you for our families, our friends, and our neighbors. Lord, we thank you for health and for loving care. Lord, we thank you. Help us to love other people this day and every day. All right, and let's pray the Lord's Prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. All right, and finally our confession together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. Amen. Well, let's talk about what is going on around Holy Cross. First of all, we are definitely, um, as the coronavirus situation <laughs> keeps evolving, we are definitely going to be staying online only for the children's family service through the end of August. So that will just give us more time to keep monitoring the situation and praying about um, the best way to move forward for families. So I just love seeing when you guys click in here and um, I hope that you will just keep joining us. Remember, if you can't watch the service at nine, you can always watch it on our YouTube channel anytime after. The YouTube channel is Holy Cross SC. So I hope that you'll keep joining us on Sunday mornings. And the other announcement is that we had our first in-person story celebration, our first time to see each other since all of the coronavirus stuff started. We had that yesterday and I can't tell you, I was so happy to see you guys. I just, I just love seeing you guys. It was so sweet to see you. And it was also fun because I got to meet some of you that I've never actually met in person. I've only met you online and now I've met you in person and it's so much better. So I'm just so happy um, that y'all came out and I got to see you and then you got to see each other and that we are gonna be praying for each other with the prayer cards that we made. So I hope that you had fun at that and we are going to be having more story celebrations coming up. We're gonna have them more often during coronavirus. So um, keep your ears perked up for the next story celebration. That'll be in a few weeks and I think you're gonna like it. I'm already planning it. So, all right. Well, I think that that's all the announcements for now. If you're not signed up for the e-news, you should um, sign up. That will keep you up to date as things evolve with what's going on at church. So with that, we'll move into our time of giving. 
thank you again for all your faithfulness to give in so many ways. Um, during services or by donating to the Kairos Drive or by praying. We're all just doing this together and everyone's generosity in every way just all adds up. So thank you. And with that, remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, it is more blessed to give than receive. Let's sing the doxology together. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, everyone. We are going to get to hear our story now. My favorite part of the service. We are in Jesus' parables. And remember, we are kind of pausing in this part of Jesus' life where he was telling stories that taught about the kingdom. And remember, a parable is a story that teaches your heart. So let's can we say that together? Actually, a parable is a story that teaches your heart. Perfect. So we are going to launch into Jesus' next parable. But before we do that, Sammy had a little public service announcement that he wanted to give. He knows that it's getting to be back to school time. And so he wanted to just make a little announcement about all that before we tell the story. So um, I'll go get him. One second. Greetings, children. I am very happy to be making this public service announcement today for the good of both the general public and you, my precious little friends. As you all know, it's that time of year again. Summer and all of its sunny days will soon be at an end. It'll be time to in your lunchbox and head off to the cool hallways of your local school. But before you go, make sure that you and your family are prepared for attending school during these crazy coronavirus times. The first item that you'll need to pack and bring to school is to carry a 
I look so good. <laughs> An elegant necklace. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. And finally, some lovely mittens. Hmm. Cozy. <laughs> um. off your mask. Hmm, thanks. Why don't you tell me and the kids how you're feeling? Well, actually, I am scared. I'm scared to go back to school. What if I get sick? Or one of my friends gets sick? Or my teacher gets sick? Yeah, that is scary. This has been a scary time in a lot of ways for a lot of people. Yeah, like even scarier than running out of fish sticks. Yeah, even scarier than that. But you know what? I'm so glad you said you were feeling scared because that's just what our parable is about today. Our parable is about me? Well, kind of, because you're not the only one who feels scared. Pretty much everyone who ever lived feels scared sometimes. And that's one of the reasons Jesus told this story. Jesus told a parable about a seed. Again with the seeds. Jesus and his seed stories doesn't ever end. Well, this was a different kind of seed than we talked about last week. This was a mustard seed. Hmm, like the mustard you put on hot dogs? Actually, yes. This is the seed that grows into the plant that we make mustard out of. Anyway, it's super, super teeny. If you dropped it on the floor, you probably would never find it. Yeah, I don't see it. 
Well, Jesus told a story about a mustard seed. It was planted in the ground and it grew and grew until it was a huge tree, almost as tall as a two-story building. Wow! Yeah, and as the tree grew and grew, it became a place of safety where lots of different kinds of birds built their nests and raised their little families. Yeah, I thought you said this parable was about feeling scared. All I heard was mustard and birds. Did I miss something? No, you didn't. Remember, parables are stories that teach your heart. They use everyday things like seeds and birds to teach us about Jesus. In this case, the little teeny seed is the kingdom of God that started on earth when Jesus was born. He was just a little baby, right? He grew up and not even that many people knew about him. But after he died and rose again, his kingdom grew and grew until all kinds of people found safety and rest in knowing him and being loved by him. Just like those birds found a safe place to land in a giant tree that started as a little seed. So, you are saying that I am like a bird? Kind of, yes. When we receive Jesus in our hearts, it's kind of like a bird finding a nice cozy tree to land in. We know we are safe because we know we are loved. But, uh, sometimes bad things happen, like getting sick. Even if you're a Christian, what about that? Well, that is true. Sometimes hard things do happen to us, even when we're a part of Jesus' family. But the Bible promises us that God will work everything for our good. In his mysterious way, he can take bad things that happen and somehow make good come out of them. Nothing is so bad that it can erase his love for us. And that's why our hearts can feel safe, like a bird in a tree. Hmm, I like that. Maybe I'll just go back to wearing my regular mask. Hey, Jesus told a lot of stories about birds and seeds. That reminds me of the perfect joke for back to school. Why did the teacher carry bird seed in her pocket? Because she was getting ready for a poet teacher conference. <laughs> I think Jesus would have liked that joke. Uh, I don't know. But I know he would have loved it. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that parable. You know, that is a very famous parable. I bet that a lot of us had already heard about the story of the mustard seed. And as I was preparing this week's lesson, I was asking the Lord what he wanted to show us all. And uh, he highlighted that part about the birds feeling safe in the branches. And I just thought that was so beautiful. And I love how the Lord tells stories because when you hear those stories, sometimes different things stick out to you depending on what the Holy Spirit is saying to teach your heart. So I hope that you enjoyed that this week. And I look forward to telling all of well, many of Jesus' parables together in the next coming weeks. So we are going to sing our blessing song now, which is something that is just makes me feel like those birds and the trees, just all cozy and safe and knowing that the Father loves me and loves you. So cuddle up, find somebody to bless. You can bless each other or you can bless your kids, especially parents, please bless your kids. And um, the McClure's are going to lead us in the blessing song as well. So let's bless each other now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine on you. May the Lord be gracious with the light of his countenance and bring you peace. Oh, thank you so much. That was so pretty. It's so nice to hear that song. I've been leading it by myself all those weeks and it's so nice to hear the song echoing around in different families. So thank you guys. All right, well, we have a really fun, sweet activity about feeling safe 
in the Father's love and being like a bird. So I hope you will click on Sammy's blog and do that activity sometime this week. It's sweet and easy and will remind you about today's parable. So I love you guys. I can't wait to see you again in person. And I'm so glad that we got to worship together today. And I will see you next week. Bye.